System one, the limbic system, system two, the prefrontal cortex. Now, system one, it evolved earlier. It's more primitive. It operates mostly through your emotions, but it's very fast and very powerful. Directly hardwired in your brain's pleasure center. So when you feel craving, when you really want something, this is what's driving the process. It has one major weakness. It's mostly concerned with immediate pleasures and immediate pain. Doesn't have that long horizon, time horizon, very short. Now, trying to pull in and temper the effects of system one is the more lately evolved system two, the prefrontal cortex. Smart, flexible. Um, and every time we make plans for the future or trying to use willpower, this is what's involved. Problem, its major weakness, it is exhaustible. It gets tired quickly and it's not as strong as system one. So what happens when we procrastinate? We make plans for the future, right? I'm gonna to work today. I'm gonna to diet. System two and operating, but system one comes around and it sees like, oh, there's something really good on TV tonight. Well, <laughs> or oh, that ooey gooey chocolate chip cookie is oh, so good. And it overrides system one, system two. So procrastination is when we make intentions that get overridden. You know? So even though we might know we are worse off, we still want it. In fact, Jerry Seinfeld has a great clip on this called about night guy and morning guy. And night guy, he's great. He likes to party, stays up late, and he has a great time. Problem is morning guy pays for it because he still has to go to work. So morning guy, like, damn you, night guy. <laughs> right? Tonight, I'm going to go to sleep early, says morning guy. But by then, night guy's in charge again. He said, well, screw you, morning guy, right? I'm staying up late, and the cycle repeats itself. What's he talking about? He's talking about system one and system two. And we kind of reflect this. We know this from our experience.